Hey guys, Julian Lower here, and today I'm with Melbourne photographers Tommy and Paul and model Bianca. So what we're going to be doing today, uh, you may have seen on my channel already, Tommy and I filmed a two photographers shoot one model. Well today we're doing three photographers shooting the one model. So what we're doing is we're going to each choose a location, so three locations along this street where we're all going to shoot Bianca. But today we're going to do it a little bit differently and we're going to put a time restriction on it. So we're each going to get three minutes at each location. So today I'm shooting on the Canon EOS R with a 24 to 72.8 lens. And what about yourself, Paul? I'm shooting on the Sony AR3 with a Sigma 1.4 30mm lens. Cool. And Tommy? And I'm shooting with the Canon 5D Mark III with a Sigma 35 1.4 R. All right, let's get into it. Onto the first location. All right, so first off, I'm going, to I'm going to choose this location for us, which is just next to this car. I thought the leaves on the car looked really nice, so I'm going to use this location and I'm going to try to get some good photos in three minutes. Do you want to just have a hand coming over? So this one I want you to put your foot out towards the, the lens. Three minutes happen quickly. <laughs> So going last is a little bit tricky. I don't want to bite these guys' shots. So what I'm thinking, I'm going to start off, I uh, noticed they're both using the front of the corner of the car with the sun directly on Bianca. So I'm going to start off, try and shoot uh, backlit and um, see how we go from there. Yeah, I like that with the jacket, sort of swinging that left arm out again. Yeah, beautiful. Perfect. So this is my location. I've chosen it because it's like a small, unique boutique little area. It's got multiple different uh, areas that we can actually use within this. Yeah, it gives each photographer a little more flexibility uh, within this area. And then hand out towards me. Just tilt your head a little this way just so the light catches your eyes. Paul finished with 20 seconds to spare, so there's a bit of confidence there. So I'm feeling a little bit anxious about this one, but uh, we'll see how we go. Uh, hand back sort of touching the wall and leaning forward a bit. Yeah, beautiful. Great. And then maybe lean back a little bit. Yeah, good. Hold that pose, that's great. Three, two. Good, maybe a little bit closer. And two head slide this way. Yeah, great. Okay, so last location, my choice. And I wanna use this whole wall along here, this nice little green door that's kind of a little bit rustic and worn. And these vines with this last of the autumn color that's sort of growing along this wall. Um, it's around, I think around 11.30 a.m. now, so the sun's up quite high in the, in the sky, so that'll be a bit of a challenge to deal with that kind of harsher sunlight, but um, we'll give it a go and see how it turns out. Beautiful. Playing with your hair again, that was really nice. Maybe a bit more of like an angle, so maybe have your feet for the out. Yeah, good. Come up to this side and then just lean your head forward over like this. Good, perfect.
Guys, we just wrapped up the final location. All three of us have shot Bianca across the three locations. For me, the thing that was the real takeaway from today was getting to choose a location each. Um, in particular, Tommy's was a location that I never would have chosen. Um, I often you know, drive past a vintage car on the side of the road and I think, oh, that'd be a cool place to shoot, but never do I look at a car that's a couple of years old, quite modern, um, nothing special and think, wow, what a cool location, but it turned out to be my favorite, um, particularly because also the light was really beautiful at that time of the morning. Most challenging for me was actually Paul's, but um, you know, it was a great experience shooting with everybody's different vision in terms of a different location. You guys, what did you find anything interesting from today? Or I just think it's really interesting watching other people shoot and how they direct models. Um, I'm keen to see the, the final results. Yeah, likewise. I, was, I really enjoyed shooting in the three different locations. Personally, I liked this location the most. I thought it was very versatile and I found I didn't have enough time to shoot everything that I wanted. But I think that's part of the challenge and yeah, I enjoyed it. All right, we're all done. Look we're forward done. to uh, seeing everyone's edits. Yeah, good. So now that you guys have seen a little bit of the behind the scenes from the shoot day and got a small understanding of how each of us shoot, I wanted to now put up some side by side comparisons from each location and just sort of run through some of the main differences both in photography style and in editing style. So one of the first things that pops out to me in terms of photography style across all locations is the fact that Tommy shoots with a slightly wider frame than both Paul and myself. He tends to um, show a lot more of the background, giving the viewer a bit more of a feeling for the environment and style of location. I think Tommy and Paul both also use a lot more depth than myself. I tend to get uh, probably shoot with a higher aperture and get a lot more focus throughout the whole image. Whereas, like I said, they use a little bit more depth, have some out of focus foregrounds and backgrounds. One of the smaller differences in terms of shoot style was probably seen more evidently in the first location, um, Tommy and Paul using um, direct sunlight um, to light Bianca, whereas I was shooting backlit to give that kind of little bit more of a, I guess a softer, a little bit more of a dreamy look, as opposed to that more harshly lit look. With regards to edit, it seems that both Tommy and Paul go for more of a film-like vibe. Um, there is definitely differences between them, um, Tommy has that kind of more faded look with a little bit sort of more muted colors, a little bit of grain added into it. Paul has that grain, but he tends to go um, in these photos anyway with more of a high contrast, darker blacks and shadows. So if you guys would have summed up these photo comparisons any differently to the way I have, I'd love to hear about it. Let me know in the comments. Um, I always like to get a different perspective on what people see in a photograph. So with all that said, make sure you give Paul, Tommy and Bianca a follow on both Instagram and YouTube. I'll leave their links in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe and thank you for pressing play.